English education from eight to the time I got to Cambridge, nobody ever mentioned creativity. I got into Cambridge and I got in on science and then I switched to law and uh, neither of them the slightest bit creative. And then I joined the Footlights Club and uh, I discovered that I could take a blank sheet of paper and after a couple of hours, I could sometimes write something that made people laugh. Because I know that any kind of pressure makes you tighten up and sort of get tunnel vision, uh, time pressure is the main thing that stops most people from being creative. When Connie Booth and I wrote 40 Towers, we used to take something like six weeks to write every episode. And that meant we could be much more creative in the sense we could come up with much more unusual ideas, as well as actually being able to put much more in each episode. People were fascinated by Basil, and some of them could see that he had a lot of characteristics of the lower middle class. Everyone always assumes that I uh, must be like Basil Forty, and the answer is no, it is actually acting. And I would very much hope I wasn't like Basil because he was ignorant and ill-mannered. And on the whole, although I used to behave badly for money, uh, I, I behave quite politely to most people. <laughs> Create quiet spaces for yourself. Listen to music and just listen to it. Don't do something else while you're listening to it. Just allow yourself to be, to be still for a time because actually some of your thoughts will uh, be very interesting. Uh, explore them. Uh, don't think that you have to be on the phone all the time. You often don't know whether something's a mistake for a long time, and the greatest single test of anything, drama or comedy, is how long does it go on being regarded as important?